is an educational event. Now you're the director of education. Let's talk a little bit about that because that is something that Rockfish and I will never aspire to have that type of position. So talk to a little bit about what a director of education is and what you do at the, at the Maritime Museum. Well, our, our primary focus is to try to get uh, people to care about the bay. I mean, this, we tell the stories of the, of the watermen, the, this local place, and the goal is to get people ultimately to care. Um, you know, our role with the environment is always how the environment affected the people. And uh, if we can touch somebody's life to make them care about this place, we've done our jobs. Now, people who come to the festival get a bonus because they don't, they don't just go to the festival, but they get full access get to the exhibit all ten exhibit buildings to the Maritime docent, Museum. Do, docent tours, uh, there'll be docents at our Hooker Strait Lighthouse, there'll be uh, uh, volunteers in our Waterman's Wharf, which is a fantastic hands-on exhibit for everybody. Kids love it, but adults do too. Mm -hmm. They can go and, and see a, a crab shedding, and they learn about uh, how an oyster uh, uh, Cleans the bay. Uh, the Waterman's uh, the oystering exhibit talks about uh, oysters and uh, the oyster war. Uh, it's a really fun, fun day for everybody because they get the ten exhibit buildings, but they get all the other activities too. The oyster wars. The oyster wars. What were the oyster wars? The uh, the oyster wars were. Uh, it was, it was an interesting time. It was about uh, 1865 that the uh, Maryland fisheries put a put a limit on dredging in the bay. That you could no longer dredge in in the in the tidal waters of the bay. You could go out in the open water, but not in, in in the rivers. And essentially, there was a fight between the oystermen who were trying to do patent farming, I mean hand farming and the oystermen who were trying to illegally continue the dredge, the dredge to, uh, to how they harvested the oysters. So literally there would be cannons aboard uh, these boats. For, there was an oyster war and we had the oyster navy, which ended up being our Department of Natural Resources. You mean like real cannons? Like real boom, cannons. Boom, boom, yeah, boom. real cannons. Wow. Wow, I didn't. It was I a did. real war. It was a real war. <laughs> it was a real war. <laughs> it was a real war. Just not our history books. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a real uh, recap on, on what we got. We got the Oyster Festival, which is taking place on November the 6th. Uh, of course, it's taking place in beautiful downtown St. Michael's. Uh, the time? The time is 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Plenty of food. Lots of food. Um, cost is, let's see, our members enjoy free admission. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's $15 for adults, $12 for seniors. Six dollars for children six to seventeen, and five uh, children five and under are always free. Now you brought up a very interesting point, and that is, if you remember, it's free. That's right. How can you become a member of the Chesapeake Bay Maritime? You can Museum? get online mm -hmm. and visit our website at cbmm.org, or you can call the museum. We'll be glad to discuss our different levels of membership with mm -hmm. you. Or if on that day you'd like to show up, we've got fantastic opportunities for people to become members that day, and there are even free gifts for folks. Okay, and you do have a website? We do have a website, cbmm.org. Okay, and if you want to become a member on that day, someone will be able to answer all those questions and everything. There will be a lot of folks there who, are, who will sign you up in any level of membership you'd like. You got it. We have a pair of tickets that we're going to give away. We're going to take call number two, because I'm not going to stretch this out, because it's been a long night. <laughs> and I should say, I should say it's been a long night because... And a long morning. And a long morning because I, uh, we're planning an event. Okay. I've been there. You, you've, have you been there? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. So yeah, so you know what you know what I'm talking about yeah. when I say it's it's been a long night and a long morning. But well, we're gonna take call in number two, 410-228-4450, 410-228-4450 is the uh, number. Call in number two is gonna win a pair of tickets to the big oyster fest, uh, which is coming up on November the sixteenth at the Chesapeake. Six. I'm sorry, November the sixth. Saturday the sixth. Saturday the sixth, November sixth. Put your glasses on. Good I just knew love. you were going to say. I didn't What's say it. it? Holy on. cow! Look at so, that. So it's been a pleasure having you, you on the show. Thank, thank you very much. You and hopefully we'll yes. come down and try some of that Please oyster stew. Everybody, come and see us. It's going to be a great day. Thank we're you coming. Thank you. Right. Right. Melissa yeah. right. with the uh, Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. Hello. This edition of the Rock Fishing Corner Show brought to you in part by Coors Light. Coors Light, the Eastern Shore's most refreshing. And something to go along with that most Thanks refreshing so beer, Miss Vicky.
from down below is in Hi studio guys. with us. Hi, Miss Vicky. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, we're hanging in there. How you doing, Ron? I'm looking good. Drop if you're drop hungry. Your I just broke my microphone, mm -hmm. but that's all right. Everything's fine. Now, we have Miss Vicky on. Now, for those who don't listen regularly or are tuning in for the first time, Miss Vicky comes on about once a month, and she does a little home cooking, Eastern Shore style recipe in for us. So we're getting into the fall of the year. We're getting into hunting season. We've got some stuff going on. I called Miss Vicky. I said, can you whip something up for us? <laughs> and she said, how about some acorn squash with some venison stuffing? And that's what she has here for us. Talk to us a little bit about the, what we got going on. Look at the It's their baked acorn squash. And the venison sausage I made, my, I made myself. Um, the, the stuffing itself has cornbread, some chicken stock, a little bit of crushed red pepper, some sage, and um, then they're just baked in the oven. It's pretty easy. It, it's a pretty presentation if you want to do something for the holidays. It's a meal in itself. And I also made some sweet potato biscuits because I promised biscuits. those. I got, my rockfish. I, I, gotta, I, gotta get, I gotta get back because I love the way you, you describe what you did. It's just easy. I just whipped it up yeah. and put it in the oven. And voila, you know, we, you know. It looks like you wiggled your nose and, and this and yeah, disappeared. Exactly. But come on, let's talk about the preparation for this. Let's let's start with the squash. The squash, right. you, you you have them, and then of course they have seeds in them like a pumpkin. Okay. So you scrape those out. So first you got to scrape the seeds out of them. Yeah. You got to talk to, to me with yeah. rockfish crookers. We'll cook it with the seeds in. Okay, no. We, we wouldn't even chop it. We don't want you to do that. You don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we got to do first, we got to cut it. But down. you can save the seeds. You can save mm. the seeds and wash them and rinse them off and bake those in the oven and toast them with some uh -huh. olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then have them as a snack or use them as a garnish in soup or. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So See, you can use the whole thing. You can use the whole thing. It's like a pig. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't want to make any jokes. Right. No, that's. <laughs> sorry. Step number two. We Step washed it off. Two, we cleaned it we, out. After it's all cleaned out, I took some olive oil and brushed it on the inside and salt and pepper okay. and put them in a baking dish. Now, what's the, why do I have to put olive oil inside? It just, it for flavor. Just for flavor. It's, it's okay. just really for flavor. And salt and pepper, of course, So, can I use butter? Well. You could. I you could, could use butter. It's choice. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, you can use vegetable oil. Can I use bacon fat? Have, if you want to, 